Adele. The green glow of two combatants faced each other and bowed. The fairy glint of determination in the eyes as they bowed to each other. The two fighters curled their toes in a padded dojo board while the ring of other students watched them anxiously. Fight! Is you not? Maybe we would do 200. Maybe that'll make a difference. There we go. Oh no, that M attack. Oh, that magic attack. That's why. It's just attack. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's just for two. Alrighty. Pain. The pain. Oh, the pain. New game. Let's try this again. Yep. Yep. Nope. Story mode. Next. Next. So go. Alright, let's see if this works now. Alright, that helped a little bit. That's good. There we go, he dead. Actually, we could we dice you? There we go. Alright, cool. Wait, what was that? I get out. But master, get out. I class dismiss. Sadell, Sadell, you don't have to run. Look, Master Ezo will be a deuce, but that doesn't mean I can't help you. How can you help me? I I don't know. But just hear me out, okay? Get away. Sadell, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Hey, now, just stay calm, alright? You'll be fine. Calm, right, calm. We cannot speak this day ever again. I'll talk to Master Ezo. I'm sure he would understand. And he turns, try not to blow anything up or kick out some off the building. Funny. You promise you won't tell anyone he doesn't already know what, you, what you've seen. I promise. We will do this. We'll find out what's happening to me. We will. So then went to uh, head home while Ryan went to speak with Master Izu. Little didn't know they said uh, they had to um, become a Muslim to a world vast and full of intrigue than they would have imagined. Now that's chapter one. All right, so then chapter two. Witness the greatest wars of our lifetime duke it out on the world stage. From all corners of the globe and all walks of life, C1 champion rises above the rest and claim the mentor champion. The camera panda saw the image of several contestants in the tournament. Many of which look surprisingly young to be participating in a potentially deadly tournament. Oh, don't get your hopes up too much, son. You might be decent on martial arts, but you know, champion. Oh, sorry, Haiti. I was to tell my son not to get his hopes up for this tournament thing. Yes, I mean, it is absolutely barbaric. What kind of person would you want anything to do with that competition? I know it's absolutely horrible. I'm going to go back to the practice. Go to the garage. First era. 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 No, it was, it was Del. So Del. Uh, house. No, not the house. One of the houses. Yeah, this. This need to be above Kevin. There we go. <laughs> you know, the 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 centerpiece of the guards of his guards were the uh, Bob punching bag that he had uh, to save up for and buy with his own money. Still, walk over to a train down again some light training. He started with some punches, and changing his strikes together. So like this, uh, so like his uncle had taught him before uh, tra transitioning into kicks. He drew three crescent kicks in rapid succession, each one accompanied by a loud "haya." He then stepped back and attempted a tornado kick, but his form was less than perfect. We saw him ending up on a hard concrete form. Damn it! He swore frustratedly. Uh, frustratedly, he stood back up and decided to try a technique that was less ambitious. Uh, so for a simple side kick to his surprise, as he struck out, a green glow began em emanating from his leg. His single kick alone was enough to send a training bag uh, craning over, something that should not have been so easily. 
Um, considering the base of field was sand, specific to keep it from falling. Whoa! Exclaimed with surprise to Dell. Uh, then a uh, thought occurred to him. These power are not so whole bomb dog. Maybe they could be harnessed. So, uh, so Dell grinned. A whole new kind of training had just begun. Alright, uh, chapter 2. Yeah, I wanna walk in. Alright, chapter 3, you're trying this again. But I'm not editing this. Alright, stop, get away, hey, get back, get away from there, what are you going to do about it? Yes, sir. Get back. You're gonna regret that, why you little? I, uh, I don't really know, to be honest. I like to call it my green glow, but uh, I'm here to help. But right, oh, thank you. No problem. Nice work with our pe uh, pepper spray. One can never be too careful. They're one of my person. They got it. I'm Morgan. Agreed. I'm Sadell. Nice to meet you, Sadell. I don't know what I would have done without your help. Nice to meet you too, Morgan. If you need someone to take you home, we'll call the police. That won't be necessary. Good. Because explaining this to the cops would be quite difficult. I imagine so. Listen, I know we kind of met, but we want to watch the war tournament with my friends and me. We meet at one of my friends houses in a couple weeks. We know each other through a dojo, so we quite enjoy the martial arts. Dojo, huh? So you're a martial artist. Well, if the kicking head, uh, headband didn't give it away. Fair enough. So? That war tournament. I heard that people can die in it. Is that true? Yeah, it is. But the war is worth it. I suppose there are a lot of money in it. Not even that. Just think about the glory. The recognition. If you won or even did well, you had, you had become world famous. No one would dismiss you or cast you aside or treat you like you're worth it. That's the real dream. Yeah. Do you want to come wa uh, watch the tournament with me? With us, I mean? Sure. I am a wrestler after all. A wrestler, eh? My uncle taught me a little bit of that. Yeah. Those ass hats back there got the jump on me, but still gave uh, gave one of them a nice throw before uh, getting pinned against the wall. Well, then I reckon we'll both get quite a lot of German out of this. But if I'm gonna attend at all, you need to give me the, uh, hit this friend's home address. This is my number. I'll see the address. Be sure that you do. That is for chapter three. Uh, chapter four is Adele. Jadel hit a dummy in the face with a hard right side kick, seeing the bag rocking, but creating no green glow. He cut to Morgan and the robbers in the alleyway had already only uh farther his conviction that his powers were more than just him to fear. Now he was desperately trying to find a way to harness the newfound power of his. So far he has suffered a hint his side kick with the green glow three times, but yet yet to perfectly um replicate the technique. He sighed frustrately. How is it that I managed to do this three times on my own, but I can't even do it once when I'm warring to him, he claimed angrily, throwing arms out wide with a bellow raised. Jadel left for at the back of him, um, a leaping sidekick. The green glow forming around his outstretched leg. When he hit the bag, it was sent uh, humming over. And when that was, Sadel uh, uh, began to realize how the power worked. So far, they had only fired off during extreme moments of stress. They mastered Dai Chi, Ryan chased him down, and I counted the mug muggers. Now, either way, he knew what he had to do. After setting his bag back up, he drew his feet back for a sidekick and lunged forward, drawing on emotions, fooling his attack with the feelings. The bag was once again sent tumbling, and a green particle flew, uh, flew from his feet, which were covered in a green aura. Yes, yes. Hello? Hey, man. Who do this? Master Ezel cooled uh, off. He said you can come back to the dojo whenever you want. He also paused if he's freaking out at you. Really? Really? And that is for chapter 4. Alright, uh, so that was chapter 5. Leave the garage. No. Expert had confirmed that the explosion were indeed nuclear, but they had yet to determine the point of or or origin of the strike. There are no concrete death tool as of now, but we have confirmed over 300,000 deaths with more reports coming by the minute. Hey man, I need to come over. I don't know if I... Right now. I'll be there soon and again. I've, uh, I gotta go. Come in. Whoa, I didn't know you had uh, hook swords. They were a gift for my father from the time at the uh, Southern Temple. 
Your father had been had before he had merely left for China to train at the Shailian Temple, where he learned to use weapons like the staff and hook sword from the best. Later, he would train his son in the, the, the same arts, uh, Ru Shan Kung Fu. Last week, he left on a visit trip to New York. He gone. We, we don't know that. He could have survived. By all accounts, that was a T ground zero. That's why I called you. Me? What do you need me for? You've been training with your powers, right? Good, I figured that much. But how did I help us? I mean, I really only uh, know how to do special kicks. Ryan smokes and troll hit train hook blades at first. Still, that he was hallucinated, but it soon became clear that Ryan was drawing them at, uh, at just a speed that they appeared nothing more than a purple blood. Even days backward, covering the length of the room in less than a second, leaving a purple jar in the way. But what? Uh, how? You're not the only one with powers. What do you want me to do? Easy. I want you to help me kill the ones with, uh, who nuke New York. And that is for chapter 5. Chapter 6. There's someone you gotta see. Well, what are we doing here? I always knew it would be you. You always knew what? I always knew you'd be the one to inherit the power. Hey, kid. Uncle, uh... Honor Ward, I thought you were dead. The bastard nicked me pretty good, but I'm fine. Where have you been all this time? If you're alive, then why not come back? Come with me. So Dad glanced at Ryan. He motioned for him to follow, so he followed him down the alleyway, only to come out on the other side and find that Uncle sitting atop a Holly Davidson motorcycle. You ride motorcycles? I suppose one could say that I pick up uh, some new skills in the intervening year years since our last meeting. Hop on, don't worry. I'll be right next to you. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. I couldn't hear you for a minute. Yeah, you messed up because you were yelling. You were recording. Oh, okay. Uh, this should be over here somewhere. Uh, we were here for this one. Fix it. There you go. I'm okay. The place is safe. The safest. Go on the building. Do own this place? I do. I'm the landlord. Do you have any tenants? Well, it depends on how you can find tenants. Go to Carvita in the back. Uh, he put all a card for one of the jackpot pockets and striped it through the reader, which stood up green, selling the door, uh, which the had assumed would have a good door, slid to the side into the wall. He most probably will walk along the other side of the door. Also, something else that I forgot to do. Go uh, here. Uh, move. You're gonna love it. 
So Dad called home and told her mother that he would be staying the night at Ryan's, uh, though that was a lie. He would instead be staying at the night at, at the uncle place, and where the place it was. The door that had lined the halls all had card readers as well. They were the uh, loans of this tenants. Their uncle had told him before handing him his own card. Uh, whenever you need it, I'd uh, hope to take you here someday so I have a card made for you. You're in fully furnished, but you can add anything else you want to. It's perfect. You also lives here. I thought you'd never ask. Master Ezo, I paused for my alpha order. It was a charade for the other students, but I have always known of this latent power within you. Thanks to your uncle here. I knew that after my accident, I still wanted a trusted friend to watch over you until your powers were revealed. But now the wait is over. What do you mean? Your powers, the power that glows within you, is not unique to you alone. What do you mean? Go back to the training area. Lassad. Whoa, you can do that too. I did it once by accident. That's the Green Lassad. It ended up one of the most useful uh, techniques in your arsenal. How do you have the same power I do? The Green Glow is an ancestor of power passed down to the generation of the Catacan family. Uh, ancestor of Kings of Queens of uh, Gwynedd, one of the Welsh kingdoms in the Middle Ages. So we just see it from uh, Rodri the Great and uh, Luvidad Far. Uh, you cover your studies? Well, our ancestors used the power to, def to uh, defend the kingdoms of Wells, but they were in the end all wrong. But the power had never left our bloodline. We can still use it to do some good. So you want me to train here and learn to perfect my power? Correct. The one more thing I, want, I don't understand. What's that? Why didn't you come back? You saw the tournament? Well, that was the first time that the world became fully exposed to superpowered individuals. Unless, of course, you and the government. The government had known about superpowered beings for a long time, and the intentions for them are less than gen uh, generous. The night I, I was gunned down, it was a federal agent that pulled the trigger. Ever since then, I have been a hiding member. You must never tell anyone that I am still alive. Of course. Furthermore, you must be sure to keep your power hidden as much as you can. We all know. Well, all Master Ezo students know. Well, me, well, we know that. We knew that. Well, if that all, then I figure we should be in the clear. Well, then, meet us here tomorrow after school. Tomorrow, your training begins. That if for chapter six, chapter seven, I think. Try again, Lasad. I can't do this. Yes, you can. We've been at this for hours. Maybe you don't know what it takes. You can do this. The power already inside you. You already know how what it takes. I'll try again. Good, Lasad. Excellent. I did it. Yes, you did. Now go take a little break. We get back to it in a few minutes. Well, slow down there. Should I be telling you that? You you can slow this down. An hour later, so that training for the day came to end. It was time for him to go home before leaving. He turned to face the Uncle Master Ezo. He still had a few questions for them. I still have a few questions. Shoot. Are there more people here? I mean, there are, there are a lot more room with those carpenters, so it will make sense. There are, but unfortunately, many of them are currently out on missions, retrieving special individuals like yourself. You see, we want to organize these and assist for the benefit of superpowered individuals. We have already retrieved two and kept them from the government, other forces, and enlisted under their command. We are the uh, Kyoko Sekuao, the protectors that enhance that Japanese Welsh, indeed. We'll be sure to introduce you to the other members soon they return. Some of them are here now, but you need to get home. We don't want your mother or, God forbid, your father to get suspicious. Alright, we'll be back tomorrow. Well, tomorrow and then sit down. Welcome to the Quagga Cuss like, well, that is for chapter 7. Chapter 8. So, there to our series. A punch against a training dummy for finishing the combo with a flying knee. He paused and took a deep breath, or he had punched the green glass of the uncle on a ward. Having successfully completed the technique three times out of the dozen attempts he tried, soon he will be joining his uncle and Master Ezra to meet the other members of the uh, Kyoko Sagwell, the Kyoko Sagwell headquarters, where he needs building. It would amass too much of the rest of the world through Master Ezra's power, uh, power illusions. It could create massively powerful illusion that he has spent decades perfecting and amassing of the Kyoko Sagwell headquarters with a put simple that. Powers. Um, I should have stepped back and brought his leg up for his sidekick. He closed his eyes and focused his mind on a green kick. He lunged forward, propelled by the green glow emanating from the foot that was planted on the ground while the while he, the raised foot sprang toward with a green glow of its own in the bag, which weighed over 100 pounds. Walking, he stepped aside. The bag came back down. He looked confidently. He may have been struggling with the green lasso, but his uh, a size toy kick was coming along quite nicely. His uncle uh, had told him that uh, that master of the green glow could channel the power through object here, just the medieval kings and queens of well, Wells have such power, you, uh, using it to enhance the p p p potency of the sword strikes, but Uncle on a ward had yet to master the ability, so that himself was quite eager to learn this advanced power, but he didn't know how to possibly could, as there was no uh, one left alive who knew the technique, so he had done the face of the training bag once more, bearing, uh, bearing his fist for a flurry of punches, a green oil surrounded his fist, and he landed four consecutive hits with the green low, enhancing his punches, the last one sending the bag rocketing back, so that had to step back uh, aside to avoid being hit by the bag as it came back down. So down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my nephew, Sadao. If we go down the line and enter such with now power, my name is uh, Fuzaneko. I am uh, able to harness the power. The winds have been to my will. I'm even able to generate through my sword, uh, Senesu. You can harness the wind? I can. 
It's a pleasure to meet you, Funaku. I'm Dalen. Dalen Haywire. I can research Sony Air Camp. My mind functions at a higher level than that of any normal individual. I have an IQ of 330. I am the one who designed the DH3 chip readers. We can see placed around headquarters. I lost the construction. What's the technique you see around me? I must say, you seem quite useful. I surely like to think so. My name is uh, Seal Armin. I am a surgical in intern with healing abilities. I can heal bullet wounds and even create injury abilities for prote protection. Some of them even have offensive capabilities if used correctly. But I still carry basic uh, surgical equipment. If my powers fail and I have the less science take over, makes me used to so. Uh, so that will connect online, be induced to all members of folks from an ex security guard and marine corp, fed him with uh, heightened sensitive and pre recognition to a box with skin that could harden the metal. The Kyoko Sagwell was a diverse group, to be sure, in fact, the only, uh, uh, the only even remotely consistent factor between uh, them was that they did a job that required an above average level of physical or mental stress, perhaps that awakened some kind of latent power, and shut the people uh, bodies. So they thought, uh, and, uh, analytically, if there were one thing you were certain of, it was that anyone government of otherwise would have their work cut out for them if they came for the Kyoto Suck Wall. That is for chapter 8, I think. Chapter 9. So there, come here, your father has something special to put in and tell you. Good talk to you, Dad. Fidel, where have you been? I, uh, Ryan and I went out to grab some drinks and a snack in a fast food place after practice. Come sit. You see that? The TV was showing scenes of various fight with the combatants demonstrating astounding feats of power, and there were even more than a blood match and elective manipulation in Fidel and the friends I've seen in the first round, from um, uh, pyrokinesis to telekinesis, from wind and lightning to ice and super speed. Yeah? Ryan and I and uh, a couple of friends saw one of the first fights on TV, and what do you think of these people? I uh, I don't know really. I guess it was a bit unnerving to see that one person could command as much power they did. I, I saw it was. No one uh, person should have all that power, don't you think? I, uh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that brings me to my news. I'm leaving. Leaving leaving where on a business trip well uh how long have you gone it's hard to say it could be for quite a long time be sure to behave be responsibly while i'm gone still i don't want you getting into any trouble michael uh Katakin got up to your feet and grabbed a simple black suit that had been leaning against the wall while in other words he turned toward the roller and walked away moments later still heard the car turn and turn on and begin driving away all the all the while his heart was beating at a thousand miles a minute michael Katakin was gone all right chapter 10 I'm okay. This place is ah uh, mm, nope. Nah, that's another. That's a tell for. Let me do a new page right there. Let me do this right here. This right here. This is gonna be a tell for. This right here gonna be that. Delete. Still for still ten. So did I fix it? Hopefully. Hopefully that works. You ready? Go to Ryan's house. No. Here we go. Where have you been? I got sidetracked. If that was sidetracked you, who is this? My name is Morgan. She told me you guys are watching the world tournament. I wanted to join. She's a wrestler. All right, come on in. The Kron uh, faction launched another blue attack now early hours in the morning today. The um, Mongolian conquerors attacked the northern Chinese city of Xinjiang. Uh, Chinese uh, forces were able to organize a counterattack and push the atta uh, attacks back. Anyway. But Chinese authorities expressed great control of the Kron fa uh, faction, striking to uh, so close to Beijing. Nice place. Thank you. Feel free to help yourself through any drinks or snacks. The show is about to begin. Sit down. Thank you. I don't know what you did, but it was cheap. You and I both know I would have won about that green glow. Hey, I still count you flying. Psychic, you're not the glow. You would have been knocked on your ass. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first round of the World Tournament. For those of you who just joined us, here are the rules. The tournament of five rounds with a championship match at the end. There will be a total of 32 fighters competing in the tournament. Matches have no time limit. Match is going to be stopped and won by forfeit, knockout, or death. Now, without further ado, I present to you the World Tournament. For our first match, we have Josh and Zoraxis. Last man standing wins. 3, 2, 1, go. So they'll watch the Josh open with a powerful right hook. But the, but his uh, was blocked by Roxas, but the bl um, uh, blow carried uh, enough force to stack the other fighter. Roxas sidestepped Josh's follow-up punch before he saw the line of blood right out of his hands. Do you see that? See what? Sidel could see the shit-eating uh, grin on Ryan's face that he pretended that he did not see what that, what that was clearly happening. We'll have it next one. Uh, irrefutable. Uh, 
uh, Joss uh, blocked the blood with a protective dome of electricity. The dome then exploded outwards, creating a sharp wave that sent rocks flying across the arena. No way. Meanwhile, in the fight, Roxas sent a wave of their own blood at Joss, sweeping up the, the electric fighter and throwing him back. Roxas continued to charge kick with Josh with uh, enough forces and flying into another wall, but he was not done yet. So then, while falling, the sky began to darken and Josh's eye began to glow red. Suddenly, Josh rocketed forward, launching a torrent of lightning bolts at his foes. Roxas did the dodge, but simply could not. But at Josh's closing on Roxas, the blood bender reacted faster than any regular man would normally be able to. Uh, punching Josh that he sped towards him, sending him flying to the air and walking back across the arena. Do you see that? How are they doing that? This is incredible. This can be happening. As Josh hit the ground, the darkened sky began to clear. Josh getting back up to his feet, launched a bolt of lightning at Roxas, but as he dodged, uh, Josh closed the gap and landed a hard uh, punch to the face. So that I could tell that Roxas was hurt as he lay on his hands and knees with blood dripping from his mouth. He had some internal injuries. Roxas got up and with a snarl on his face and a uh, wave of blood at Josh, he blocked it with an electric drum. Josh walks out plan. Roxas smiled uh, sinisterly uh, as the blood overloaded Josh's shield, causing the dome to implode. It left screening Josh. Roxas turned away uh, victoriously. It's more still plastered on his face. Did, did he just kill him? Despite being a part of the Kyoko Sug, well, uh, had never actually killed anyone before. But then, to anyone's surprise, Josh, his skin black and dry, got back up to his feet, his eyes going a deep red. Roxas turned, surprised to see Josh back on his feet, but ready nonetheless, taking a fighting pose. As Josh tried to attack, Roxas launched a wave of burning blood at Josh, scorching his, uh, his already charred skin. Josh tried one last step a desperate electric force, but the attack backfired, rescuing himself from the inside out with that. Josh was finally truly dead. Watch the other evil uh, laugh for at least a torn the burning hot blood, or Josh about to make sure that uh, he, he uh, that, that the deed was done, but the blow was so much that uh, splashed to in the first world to stand. Of course, many onlookers watched it laugh all, all the while, cackling maniacally as if he was basking in the feeling of the kill. Dear Lord, shut the cameras off, and then the screaming black before being replaced with static. And when says Josh dropped to the floor, they took witness. The only one of the fire but scores of onlookers about well died, silent hunger would them like a storm cloud. One thing would clear to anyone, everyone, not just in Ryan's house, but around the world, superpowered individuals did indeed assist, and the world difficult than number one. What the hell have I got myself into? I died it for chapter 10. Oh, it's a dull chapter 11. Mr. Cadigan, Lord Khan, it's an honor to meet you in person. I assume the conditions of our agreement are still intact? Yes. If you help us eliminate the Kyoko Sagwell, we'll uh, pack a weapon and funding your future campaigns in northern China. But that's what, uh, now that's what I like to hear. Lord Khan, with our help, uh, Sen Yang will be up to beginning, back by us. Your force will be able to push to Beijing and even beyond. All we ask in return is that you help us eradicate the Kyoko Sagwell. I must say, Mr. Cadigan, I look forward to collaborating with you on this sort of operation. You seem a smart man. Firstly, I've been called overseas. Does it matter regarding the interests of the state? <coughs> However, I leave you in my capable hands of my second Xavier Hunt, Mr. Khan. A pleasure. We will give you all the information we have on the Kyoko Sug well. Remember, there can be no official records of the meeting or the U.S. government's involvement in the action whatsoever. Of course, in order to make our, uh, your search uh, easier, we can compile all the information we have on the uh, Kyoko Sug well and place it on the map. These are known all spots of the Kyoko Ghost well. You will also be sent a digital copy. Before you go, there is one more thing I want to show you. Only squad. This is the only squad. They have agreed to assist us on our adventure here. I am Rain Kuma, Shogun. That means he's the little leader. They seem fast. Oh, there's so much more to say fast. The army are made of a diamond, uh, titanium alloy. They both have speed and strength greater than that which you find at any mortal man. Big promises. Oh, they will fulfill your widest dreams. What do you see? You have it under control from here? Yes, sir. Good. I'll be in touch. Well, let's get to work. Good hit. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's odd. Uh, upon a further investigation, we revealed that Yeager Khan and a sizable portion of the faction that arrived in Seattle included a mysterious only squad, of which little were known for sure to be besides their assistance. What, uh, whatever their in intention, Dalen knew that the Khan faction intended to be less than noble. <clears throat> Moy, it was. Don't like you. <laughs> Why did this happen? Well, I did. Oh, that evasive fin. Maybe I don't evasive fin. Maybe that's why I don't do. Sorry, ladies, he's mine. Uh, this right here. Jeez, if you see, we can delete that. Fade in. Citadel 15. If I go here, Citadel 15. They'll take me here. Actually, I really don't need that. I just realized since I'm right here, we can. No, 
I just do this, do this, do this, do this. Then I just add it on to here and do that. And there we go. That should fix that problem. Continue. I will continue here. Let's see what happened here. Alright. Uh, all this again. Uh, what is this? A new development of the World Tournament? I'm uh, afraid not. The con fetch and come to Seattle. Alright, and that's it. That's all I needed to do for this. Alright, chapter drove. Whatever it is that popped into here, it must be quite important. Yen Khan himself had a company, a large detachment of his man on the flagship, the High of uh, uh, Biozuo. I think it's pretty clear what, what brought them here. There's going to be evidence to support your hypothesis, Mr. Briggs. Wait, what? Security so camera, the GPS system, so several Khan faction vehicles splitting off and combining, uh, combing through the city. They seem to be homing, uh, honing on hotspots of activity. Hotspots of what activity? Why our activity, of course. This uh, revelation uh, governs the other members of the action. Stella and Anne will put on hand wraps while Ryan, after replacing a chaining hook, so to appear to reveal things. Uh, will his father transcode over the undershirt. On on the world, grab a uh, sawed off double barrel shotgun and place it at his side. He uh, slid a pocket knife to one of the pockets, place a uh, nun nunchuck and a loop, a loop in his belt. Mr. Ezo grab a half dozen uh, kunai and tuck them beneath his uh, copus robes. For Necker at the same time, place a uh, Zenosu. It is a extraordinary uh, ordnance scabbard in the belt. Seal arm and strap a bed kit to his side and place several strings in the loop of the belt. Meanwhile, a wider uh, simply st uh, strap a pair of boxing gloves. Jasper Raleigh, a former U.S. Marine and security guard with powers of pre pre precognition, holsters an M1911 and grab an M4A1 equipped with a full time optic sight and full uh, under the bill from the weapon rack. He also placed a, a, a baton and a loop in the belt. Unknown forces have brought the contractors to Seattle for the best purpose of eliminating them, but they would not take this line down. With the Kyoko Sugwell being fully armed and skilled with the respective powers will make a formidable av adversary. So, what's the plan? I recommend you split up into small groups. A small unit tactic. Can, can divide up a larger uh, force and allow us to crash in between us. Divide and conquer. So that would come with me. I'll join them. As will I. Uh, that would make a good team one. I still lead. Seal Armin, Sam Wider, and Jasper Valley. And I will stay here and monitor activities from afar. I'll give you a form on the developments of fun. Remember, we are not facing them head on. Instead, we rely on uh, guerrilla tactics. Overflip, outflanking them and casting them by surprise. Alright, everyone. Let us show them what uh, the Kyoko Sekuel can do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here they come. What are you doing? Remember the we the plan. He wanted them. Alrighty. You okay? Holy crap, that was amazing. It was, wasn't it? Whoa. Back to the alley. That was incredible. I honestly can't believe that it worked. We were flanked from behind. We can't catch them as probably we used the buildings that I covered. Alright, let's move. Now. You okay? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
just a lot of fighting. <laughs> Yeah. What was was that it? Steady us up, Mr. Briggs. I doubt we are out of this yet. Quickly, stay behind me. What are you doing? Putting up an illusion at us so they will uh so that they will not see us. So that so that it is. We should let them pass out our fight. Calm yourself, Mr. Briggs. We are only trying to sift the odds in our favor. Stack the deck against them as much as possible. I like that. This will be great for catching them off guard. Who are they? I don't know. It's like they finished in the thin air. Keep quiet. We do not want to give away our location to the perfect moment. On my single. Prepare yourself now. Send them to their ancestors. With that, he threw a rope, kunai forward, and Pelly, one of the con men, do the do a Jesse tug on the rope and pull the man to a loose and bury across him to an eye of the combat to spread the Yeah, Look, finish this. That's the spirit. You're, you're the Kyoko Seguel, yes? And you might you be. I am Rain Akuma, Shogun of the Oni Squad, and I shall be the instrument of your deaths. Dramatic much? We have come to end your clan, and we shall be succeed no matter how hard you may resist. Kill the Valley, that theory? Die well, uh, Seguel Katagan, for your honor, and die well. They're, they're on their way. Then pray yourself, Jasper Valley. I'm ready. That's good, Simul Valder. Uh, you must all pray yourself for the fight ahead, otherwise I feel we shall not live to see the sunrise. Take them now. Meanwhile, Ryder rolled over the edge of the building, metal uh, coated the arm, arms and toys, so one may be happy quickly fired off a burst of 45 ACP from a submachine gun. But it went over to no avail as the bullets broke say off a of Ryder metal clad chest. A uh, Ryder powering into the bullets crushes a uh, assailant head like a like a great but one destiny hammer fist strike with an iron clad fist. Behind him, on the, up on the rooftop, Ryder turned down two more of the con thugs with pinpoint bursts of machine gun fire. You okay? I don't care. Two men unleashed a hell of gunfire on the router, but to no avail as a brutal boxer uh, bludgeoned them with their ironclad fists. APC, Valley, get down. We don't have anything that can penetrate that armor. Don't be so sure to catch that for Valley. I may, I may be able to finish the video up. I need your help. What do you need us to do? I need you, Simu Rider, and Shield Armin to draw fire from the APC. <clears throat> Sapphire Valley will do the same from another angle. With the attention to divide, I'll be able to do what needs to be done. We'll buy you as much time as we can. Good, now go. Okay. Okay. For one, the one little mistake I did. Chill fire. Ah, I forgot to give us. Uh, so a magic point, so we can use the weapons. Also, I'm gonna debuff a little bit. A thousand, a thousand hit points, you know, too much. I'm gonna do 500 for one next time. There we go. 
Whoa, that was incredible. Are you alright? I am fine, so I'm in. I'm still able to fight. Was it good? I will not yet to the encounter. He's right. Stand down, warrior. We have slain many of your combats, and we do not wish to fail anymore. But if you must, we sell. A bold claim. <laughs> Especially when it is Kensho Nagro who is among you. You are Kensho Nagro? Of course. The famed swordsman of Siga uh, Prefecture, conqueror of uh, Hohat, and right uh, right hand of uh, uh, Reina Kuma, fate hold of him. No, I'm fine. You, Kensho Nagro, are proud of you uh, beyond your accomplishments. For words you may not have reached any of us. <coughs> Kill the insolent fools. And that is for chapter 12. Chapter 13. If you surrender now, I promise my honor that you shall be granted a quick and painless death. I attempt that that is, I'll have to refuse. Very well then. What the hell? Our army made of a diamond titanium alloy. Your puny fire arms won't do anything against it. Oh, yes, well, this will. You got him. Is that the best you can do? Uh, Yarikawa, you take the boy with the staff. Adachi, the swordsman. This guy is just powerful for no reason. Uh, Wait, isn't there one powerful enemy that's on me? Uh, you, you need 20. You don't know why. 20. Uh, 20. There we go. Give it 200. There we go. Yeah, there'll be powerful enemies in here for no reason. Alrighty. <sighs> Also, Ashley, really quickly, I want to go to here, what over here, I'm going to do a recover all, ah, ah, here we go, yeah, I hope I didn't make him powerful. Rain Akuma. No, he's not that powerful. Alright. To make it easier, I would tone it down the next time. And I would add 25. Alright, that's good. What was it? Finish this, but what are you doing? Impossible. Mm. 
for the 500 cold times. Georgia? Okay. I have one more time. Then it should be find a hill now. So that's how it feels. Sit down behind you. <laughs> what trick is this? Come on, fight with honor, you spineless coward. Come on, fight. And I shall grant you a swift step, swift step if you say so. Find me a challenge. Tricky is at it, and we'll see about that. Pathetic. You bastard, stand down. Wait, we're on your side. Suddenly, the police shop above them split in a rip of fire looking up. They could see a grainy man in a red suit with an RPG slung over his shoulder. It's in a glance the police officer being opening fire on the red clad man above. The man was uh, Jamie Khan. The Khan uh, uh, drew a flashy desert eagle from his side and began to be 25, catching one officer in the head and spraying blood and brains on the windshield of his police car. The the Khan's other man uh, to uh, redirected the fire at the officer who in return a uh, in turn returned fire. One of the Khan's men went down as two officers was were mowed down and displayed a fully automatic fire. To so death fire Green Lassad at one of the uh, Khan's men, uh, taking him in the chest and sent him hurling uh, back over the hood of his own car. Whoa, do you see that? It's be pretty hard to miss. We have to go. We can't leave this fight. There's no time. We can't let them get away with this. We have to go. Fine. Me at headquarters. 
And that is for chapter 13. Oh, one of those two. Alright, chapter 14. Well, well, see now, I told you all that Michael will come to for us indeed. Yes, yes, you have done well. How do you know how I, how I did? I have not even given you my report. Oh, please, don't insult our intelligence. Do we not think we have our ways of monitoring our agents? Who shall the other people? My, my, aren't you in, 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 inquisitive? So I apologize for your question. I promise you he will wolf it. It's fine, it's fine. After all, the last thing I need is a bunch of avid followers who never he, uh, have anything to offer. We are a group that seeks to provide the world with one thing, order, and I am that group leader. You may call me Raph, that is, if you would like to join us in our mission to protect the world from all the unknowns in the, in the universe. Orders have always been a, a staple of Michael's worldview. He had tr tried for years to keep stealth from martial, uh, martial arts or sports in general. For fear of awakening the power within him, he had had no trouble with his other children. But for some reason, Shadow had been drawn to the martial arts. He had, he had, he had at least managed to get rid of his uh, meddling for the uh, inner world before he could ha uh, hasten uh, Shadow's descent. Uh, uh, through his son with doing much or he had at least to micro knowledge not awakening the true power. My crime known of the of this enhanced people like those in the family who attained the green glow opposed to the natural order of things and so had tried their hardest to keep to death for falling to that group of degenerates and becoming a target of the government and as far as he knew he had succeeded if he felt he knew the punishment uh, would be his son death. It was an odd sort of protection and an even uh, odder form of love but it was the best Michael could offer his children. Your word uh, order and falls eliminate the external threat. That is above all else our goal. We cannot simply let the rabble have an asset to uncontrolled but even limitless power. We will ensure that the only ones with um, power are those fit to guide humanity to a brighter tomorrow. I'll be happy to aid you in whatever it is you need. And with that, Michael Cadigan joined the inputs of the black table. And that is for chapter 14. Chapter 15. I, I know when I fast that far, you're okay. I will, I will live. Come on, we need to get inside. Go inside. I'll go get Dalen. Oh, that's that's great. Don't know what happened. I think this is all. That's the. Oh, I see what happened. Easy fix. It was a mistake of what I did. Go to house uh, this right here. Went to the whole different room. Yeah, that that not supposed to go that one. That's supposed to go to this room. Alright, easy fix. It's my weed in here. It's my weed in here. Not that you know of. <laughs> Dalen, come on, we have to go. Yeah, yeah. Dalen, yeah. Come on, man. We have to go. Uh, I'm sorry. Apologies can wait. Now let's go. Okay. Allow me to pack up some of my equipment, then I'll meet you in the training room. Alright, so make it quick. Go to the training room. They, they got me. They were good. Too good. The arm was too strong. The blade's too sharp, you know. We fought another four of them. Is is that what happened to Master Izo? It is. Did you get the bastards back? We killed three of them. But the one who killed Izo got away. He was the leader. Rain Akuma. We'll get him next time. Did you get did you get any of yours? I hurt mine, but I don't think he did. Same here. What do we do now? We can stay here. Why not? We can. We can fight. We, we've, we've been com compromised. Our greatest assets uh, here without uh, uh, a, a, a nominee. Now that we have lost that, then not much uh, reason to stay here. Uh, where will we go? I, I know a guy. That went beautifully. Beautifully? Is that the word, word you use? Yes. Yes, it is. You do not see it as a sentiment? No, it is not. In fact, the, the word I would use, you all people, I would think they would agree with me. Oh, please, my dear Asia Hunt. A few stab wounds are merely uh, superficial uh, injuries for vain elite only squad. What do you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Asia. Agent Hunt, a master no reveals his secrets, especially not to one of your profess professors. I thought you lost three. We did. Unfortunately, we have been unable to reclaim Brother uh, uh, Yarikawa body from the depths of the uh, Pudgeon Sound. Brothers Adachi and I Izuhara, however, were easy to recover with or without your samurai, we still have quite the instant on our hands. I mean, surely a shootout with the police could have been avoided? This is our first. After all, it matters not. What do you mean? The vast majority of the military is on the move, are they not? That's classified. There were no force in the immediate area except for the National Guard. What are you getting now? Oh, nothing. It's that you Americans are shockingly just dumb. I mean, what were the plan here? Invite a privately owned military inside your own borders and allow them to run operations? What would you expect to happen? Well, he reached for a Glock Dawn and aiming a split second. However, he never got the chance to pull the trigger at range. Ran um, him through with a lightning fast quick draw with his sheath. Blood foam at the agent mouth at a trouble back, clenching the bleeding hole in the chest. Two other agents rolled around, uh, bringing the own pistol to bear, but Jaeger was faster. 
to pinpoint stock from a desert eagle. The cons uh, the console which uh, behind the two agents was stained red and pink at the flames were blown out the back of their heads. Another agent that one armed with an MP5 submarine gun rounded the corner and popped off the bear against the two traders. However, a don't screw knife rain left him bleeding on the ground. The other samurai should be prepared for battle shortly. They said showing us in the blocks. Sadly, I was playing in motion. The overseas uh, expense have begun. I, I can't believe it kept through my skin. The blaze of force from a diamond titanium alloy, and they also seem to possess some level of super strength and super speed. We have smash. What is the place again? It belonged to a friend of mine. She had a big doomsday pepper. You know, it is a massive super survival bunker. Last time she sold it to me, it was incredible. Fully stocked with some state of the art technology. I hear the sort of like you, correct? Well, not exactly like me, per se. She was a helicopter pilot. I think come by, uh, by the funds necessary to create the place. Her uncle was filthy rich. In fact, the bunker was started by the old bastard, but he died before he could see it completed. Is she like us? And, and handsome, I mean? Yeah, she is. But, uh, that's what uh, got her so freaked. He was and still is absolutely convinced that the government would be out to get us if they knew about our powers. Like, she was right. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have flipped her so much shit for her. But it's safe? Oh, yeah. Almost four hours later, Riley told uh, Anwar to stop and pull out the pull out the car load. Uh, Anwar did a instructed and the group filled out the uh, followed out of the battle old transport. Luckily, so power has a seat in healing the group's wounds, so they will be able to get where they need to go. What now? Ah, this way. Damn, we're way out in the in the boonies. Well, it wouldn't be very useful otherwise. Ain't that true? You okay? I'm with you. It's around here somewhere. Any idea what we're looking for? It's an actually a metal hatch. It'll probably be concealed underneath a bush. Oh god. Oh god damn. What is it? Oh, I guess I found the hatch. The way it are any security measures. I'll be sure to uh, retrofit the bunker as we settle in. So, uh, who wants to go first? Fine. I guess that's only fair. Uh, man. Uh, 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 Roger Goose will let the place go on, uh, go to the ship. Oh, have I now? Uh, hey Rod, hands up. Come on Rod, to me. Okay, okay, who else is with you? Just some other hands people. Who? Hey Rod, and me here, you know me? I did once, but how can I know that the government haven't got to you or the Illuminati? How do I know that you're not a sp spook? I'm no spook. I'm here with Anwood and Sistel Cadigan. They're an uncle and nephew there. First Necker, Sam uh, Samuel Ryder, Julia Armin, and, and uh, Ryan Briggs. We just escaped Seattle with our lives. We got into a, a shootout with the contract, and we're fairly uh, sure they were there on the payroll of the government. That was you guys, huh? Yep. We are the Karaka uh, Circle, an organization dedicated, dedicated to the protection of all hands people. I like the sound of that. Now, is it okay if I let them down? Sure. You guys can down now. What's going on down there? Just catch up with an old friend. It's a pleasure to meet y'all. You as well. She never met you, but she greets you like goddamn heroes. I've known her for years and she greets me with a damn shotgun. Oh, don't be a baby. So, you okay with staying here for the time being? Yeah, after all, I figured I'd interest her in line. That's great to hear. I could have, I couldn't help but notice the fairly lax security measures on the way here. That's what you think? What do you mean? We didn't see anything. That's the point. What kind of facility do we have here? Basically, everything you could want, it, William. We got plenty of food, our own shorts of water, training, and exercise areas. What do you need specifically? Nothing, I just wanted to make sure I can keep up with my training. Oh, you're Samuel Ryder. Yeah, uh, that's that's me. So, you're him, huh? Well, good. I already thought you were some kind of dirty cheater. Yeah, well, I'm not. Alright, uh, how about I show you around? I'm sure it's nothing. And that a chapter 15. Chapter 16. The war tournament had ended with Raging KG, Lightning User, Swordsman, and Firebender as it winner, but in sharp contrast, contrast to a few weeks uh, ago, so Kevin did not care less about the war tournament. All he cared about was his training. As so now, uh, Chloe Bunker had quite the uh, copious training area, complete with squat and bench racks. Uh, both flexes and treadmills and punching bags were very different from the old Kyoko Sugwell training room, but it was and certainly more than uh, adequate. Oh, wow, so there were a movie that striking one of the TVs in the, in the uh, training area, so the newscast going over a list of the fallen contestants. Few discussions were advised. The newscast advised anyone who might be watching. The TV had changed, so various contestants dying in horrible ways. There were jaws, whom Chadel had seen have it on electricity turned against them before it melted in a tsunami of hot blood. Another girl had a hole blow to her chest by some magic spell, while men were obliterated by a shot from a, from a bazooka. On and on, the program went, so he eats in every horrific death of the tournament. Sadell found himself distracted from the training, and instead captivated on what he saw on the television. Suddenly, the screen changes showed the natural seal of the United States, America, and the White House symbol. When up your regularly uh, scheduled program for an important news bulletin, another newscaster announced over the television. The screen changed uh, once more to President Trent Johnson standing at the podium in the right, uh, at the White House, navy blue shirt and em emblazoned within the White House seal. Hi, my fellow Americans, the last few weeks have uh, been the most shocking in recent memory. The reveal of a handsome individual and stone wise, shaking the very fabric of our world. New York, New, uh, 
uh, New York City, a monument to American achievement and, and ingenuity have been wiped out to use of nuclear weapons. There's no doubt that our nation uh, is hurting right now. So I ask you all, the American people, what do you think of the externals? The power, unlike any we have ever seen in the hands of one, any one person. In fact, we have just received word that the Tillman Island have been blown in half by one of the externals. And I understand if, as a people, you are, you are fighting by the shocking revel revelation. But I swear to you, as your president, that I said to my utmost to ensure the continued safety and security of the American people. Thank you and have a good night. With that, the TV people can return to normal world. The new catcher has now switched gears to dissecting the president's speech. The enemy called it a rambling mess, while his supporters call it an inspiring beacon of hope and security for the American people. Still aside, externals, he thought to himself, that certainly did not sound good. He knew that the government had always been against them, but they had never uh, gone public with him. Though he spoke, they did not uh, really have any other choice after the tournament. Still, yes, uncle, come here. Hey, why hasn't it shown us? Oh, you here. What do you got for us, Daylin? Well, I found something interesting. I feel something naturally. But go ahead. Firstly, U.S. military service so that massive troop movements are being undertaken. Wait, you hack into the Pentagon service? Don't sound so befuddled. And not like it my first time. Anyways, like I was saying, Pentagon service so massive troops movement being undertaken to a specific area in the North Atlantic. The entire Atlantic fleet, uh, fleet is, is being called in. What have they found? That's the puzzling part. There's nothing there. Nothing on radar and sonar. As far I can tell, it's just an empty stretch of ocean. I mean, no. You know what's there. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Tell us. It's an island of great mystery and great power. Island? There can't be an island there. It doesn't appear on radar, sonar, or any existing records. No maps, nothing. Don't have to be to everything, young Dalen. There is indeed an island there. I know exactly what you got to be after. Well, the people of this island, the island of Air Peaks, possess remarkable abilities similar to us, given the backlash we see from world leaders over the reveal of enhanced individuals. It wouldn't be particularly surprisingly. Uh, surely they can't just be going to the island to strike uh, against uh, enhanced people, right? I was wondering improbable as improbable as it seemed. So what do we do? We can't just let them kill an entire island for enhanced people. Agreed. So what? Do we just go uh, uh, to some spit of land in North Atlanta and fight the entire U.S. military? Yes, not likely. There will be an entire population of enhanced people on the island, even if we could make any difference, which we probably won't. We won't be able to get there in the first place. Don't be so sure. What do you mean? I mean that I have a helicopter. You took us to North Atlanta. I thought you at least know the uh, limitations you craft. Not like anything we've ever seen. And let me tell you, there are some. Should have benefits to uh, having a rich military contractor for an uncle. Now it's just starting to get comfortable. This is the uh, Jimson of uh, Rodico's B1 Camellia. And this thing will get us to the island. See a beauty, is not Yes. And once we get there, we'll be ready to fight. Aside from the turrets, you uh, you see uh, uh, mounted there. See a packing quite a bit of heat. 35 unguided Hydra missiles, 5 guided APKWS uh, missiles, and 5 Griffin B missiles. That's quite a co co compliment. Not to mention the non lethal countermeasures from enemy missiles you should start with. How fast can you get up to air peaks? This Camellia can get there in about 11 hours, considering it's a helicopter. Kind of bad, still a long ride. I propose that we leave as soon as possible. The longer we wait, the more dire the circumstances of the people at Airpeaks gets. Agreed. We can't wait for others to get to go help them. Hell, other people might not even know what's going on there. Well, then, let them get ready, ready to do it. Why are you putting your motorcycle? What can I say? Give them options. You okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I know if there were anything like this, you know? Neither have I. I know. I know I have talked a big game back there, but I really don't, uh, don't know what I'm getting myself into. Well, at least we both in this together. Yeah. So, you ready? Let's do this. Sedell, uh, nevertheless, nodded in formation and followed his friend up to the real ramp of the chameleon with all his friends and comrades with him. It was time to save Air Peaks. And that is for chapter 15. 16. 16. Alright, uh, time for Sattel chapter 17. You've been at this for a while. You should take a break. I am in this for at least a little bit. It's fine. Besides, we're almost there. You can at least let me co pilot. Do you know how to fly a helicopter? Uh, well, look, if you want the help, so watch the radar, okay? How, uh, how are we going to get past all that? Oh, don't you worry about that. What that do? It's clo uh, cloaking. We should be invisible on the radar. I believe it or not, to the naked eyes as, as well. Invisible right. with the eye. How did that work? It's kind of a reflective uh, on the look on the whole. It can happen at any time. All right, that's enough talk. Time to ready up. Huh? You remember how to shoot? Yeah. But it's been a long time. Well, you still want something. It got three time optics in the red dot sight. So it should be pretty useful. We came up on the island. We made it over the fleet. I told you the chameleon can do, can do, could do that. Dear God, we have to get down there. All right, first things first. Chloe, you remember what we talked about? Good. When you, when you, uh, when you find a good spot, drop me in. 
Let's hit them by surprise. Riley, get on the M240. Like not in at the rail ramp will load me with a heavy machine gun at the position your shoulders look up and despite the community flying above there with hellfire raining down from every angle. The Catlin gun brought a uh, hue and a torn fire and uh signal while a um whom V rolling through the force were blown apart by the belly mounted turret. Riley and the back gun down A1 and fatigues and holding a rifle uh spitting uh, 7.62 and doing his uh darndest to prevent any further loss of civilian life. Who the hell is that? It doesn't matter. Take them down. All right, uh, Anna, what, you ready? Absolutely. Wait, what are you? Now, what is he doing? Anna will hit the ground, moving spring forward into action. He swerved the bike out of the way, though, for a charge of gunfire, closing the gap between him and his enemies in quick order. The first man was met with a shotgun cop, uh, shotgun blast to the face, and it will contain the force, taking a jump off of the small legs and blasting another sword away with a compact shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, I bet you fell out. Why does everyone jump out? Of a perfectly good helicopter. What's the matter? Scale heights? Those people aren't going to save themselves. Seriously? Are you not going to be jumping off? And when else is doing it? If all your friends jump out of will you do it too? Why, uh, Ryan and why Ryder exchange looks. Ryder immediately spent off the back of the end of the uh, Jamelia, Camellia, followed shortly uh, thereafter by Ryan, who, as he left, turned and drew a mock uh, salute towards the Dell. While falling, falling through the air, he turned and actually there was leaving enough but a faint purple trail in a wake. You playing on staying? Are you? I'm on the gun. Okay, let's do this. With that, he ran and left from the back of the Camellia head force. He placed a glowing green cushion below him, which he landed on with his hands. He will to the air before landing on his feet. Easy. What the hell? You bastard. Oh no, Ryan! Hey, Zadel, hey! Stop where you are, and who might you be? I am Sir Atlas Ironheart. Ironheart, huh? I am Zadel Cadigan. This is Ryan Boys, we're with the Kyoko Sequel. Uh, Kyoko Sequel, what is that? Uh, we are a group of people dedicated to protect and enhance people. Enhance? You mean the gifted? Mm, yeah, sure. So, you are not on the side of the invaders? No. We have a compass specifically to stop them. Well then, Sir Katakin, I think we can help each other after all. Come. We must meet the enemy in battle if we are to push them back. Come. We have established the offensive line through uh, southwestern parts of the forest. Alright then. I'm down. Me too. And that is for chapter 17. I'll see you all in chapter 18. I will do chapter 18 as a story. Enter the trenches. Why are you all armed like it's the Middle Ages? I beg your pardon? Never mind. That's another. Uh, medalist. Uh, Atlas, I see you got some company, and who might these young men be? They come from the land of the innovators, however, they have come to help us put them back into the seas. Well, the aid shall be most appreciated. It's let's meet you, you as well. Alas, it's here at Matlas Bolton, the finest ranger ear peaks ever seen. That's good to hear. I say, lad, what kind of swords are those that you brandish? Um, the Chinese hook sword from the east. Ah, we know it's China. Mm, cool. Hellfire, everyone, take head and... Uh, heat and fine color, hellfire raining down yet again. Uh, Sedell and Ryan uh, both pressed themselves against the walls of the trench as artillery shells fired from the naval fleet. Offshore uh, rained down upon them. All around them, supposed to rock the ground, sending soldiers to the of like uh, flying through the air. After a few minutes, the barrage finally sub subsided. Sedell and Ryan both breathed a deep sigh of relief they had made it through the naval bombardments unscathed. Don't stop it yet. Knock. Draw. Loose. Grenades. Spears, I have an idea. What are you thinking? You see, uh, he gonna get himself killed. That was the plan. Uh, that was impressive. Indeed it was. I've never seen speed like that in all my years. Hey guys. Hey, uh, Kenelak. What, you a speedster? Yeah, you? Um, yeah. Well, you want to go tear the bastards up? Yes, yes I would. Alright, but we better be quick. I'm, uh, we're just here to tell you all that platting, um, uh, platted and cross are coming. Quick, I don't think we have the problem with that. Platting across by easier. I do not yet know. Your lady, uh, here merely to relay the orders to the queen. We'll see. He had a hearing factor. It works automatically, and it would have gave him the title Ironheart. I can take anything the puny invaders can draw at me. Uh, Sadell? Where were you? I was about to ask you the same thing. I got pinned down by some marines, but my Ryan helped me out for there. Then I met Atlas here, and he led to the front lines. Where's I Ryan? He and the other speedster ran off and started fighting. Hey, hey, Anna Wood. Ryan, where's the rest? 
they fought it down the line. The shield was turned into the wounded uh, Fuzanako by doing all they can to push the die back, but there may very well be too uh, many of them. I call uh, Chloe. She's going to hit the area with, with an air try and then we get out of here. What? We cannot leave now. And uh, not when there's so much more to do. She always said the same thing, but there's nothing here left for us. They, uh, they land contacted me and told me that some kind of massive guns are moving to position over the island. And between you and me, I don't want to be here when it starts raining fire on our heads. I'm not leaving. Another wave incoming. We're leaving. So then the Camellia fly overhead, firing a barrage of Hydra missiles into the mass of oncoming Marines, uh, decimating not only the inf infantry forces, but whatever the armor they had brought mon mon with them. The formidable helicopter did not escape unscathed. However, as the whole world, uh, peppered with 50 cal bullets from a machine gun mounted atop a Hoovy uh, that reduced their power, smoldering cinders soon after. That's cool. Bodies uh, were haphazardly thrown about, including Chastel as he was right out to the air. All crew over here almost left him. He felt his assault rifle leave his hands as he hit the ground with a hard wolf. He was also faintly aware of the warm, trickling feelings from his forehead. But could think about how much of a nuisance of blood would be a clean off of it if it had been. The gun ship opened fire. Meanwhile, Anna was staggered back to up to her feet, wiping the blood from her face. A small cut had opened up to on, on the forehead as well. Chastel, Atlas. Uh, Platinum cars. What brings you here? The queen of Odin, our final push. You believe we have our enemies on the back foot. What? They're reading uh, auto cannon and fire on our heads and push for everything they got. Not a time for defense, not attack. Are you worthy? I thought not. I thought not. Brave man and woman of the air peace. Day the day we fulfill our application to the queen. Day the day we showed the unfitness of how grave a mistake it was to come to the island. Now charge! He leveled his single hand, uh, handed sword at a trio of marines and sh shot a bolt of supercharged lightning. Uh, out of the end of his blade, uh, incinerating the lot of them. Over a hundred warriors armed with melee implements of the Middle Ages surged forth with a, with a cry of bloody vengeance. The marines closest to the transfer were overwhelmed before their gravings get a shot off of being hacked to pieces by the vengeful shoulders of ear peaks. Atlas cut through the man's neck, sending his head flying in another direction, for running his blade to the chest of his next adversary. Uh, Matlis, uh, meanwhile, hung back, uh, picking off foes for a distance with expertly placed shots from a long bow at the uh, uh, helm of, of the charge with Atlas and Cross, both cutting down the enemy to ease. The charge were only halted with a new column of armor arrived at the field of battle, including two M1. Abraham's tanks, accompanied by by a score of who leaves one of the Abraham's fire off a cell, sending men into body parts, flying while the gunner atop the vehicle turned the approaching soldiers the earpiece in the mince meat. Suddenly, one of the Abraham's were left from the ground by a massive upwards gust of wind before being thrown on and over and on top of the Hoovy, crushing the uh, uh, um, occupants of the small vehicle, leaving both completely unoperable. Uh, for Snacko, that the kill kill like well, they can surely handle themselves. One minute, I am impressed. Suddenly, at the head of the army, a massive pulse, uh, pulsing green ball of energy exploded outwards. The ballast sent the soldier the airplane flying back, all of them lay, uh, lay, landing on the ground in a heap. So, Dell thought the ball looked a lot like supercharged footsteps of the uh, lasted uh, Uncle Anwood had taught him. Then, Stell I widened, though the smoke walk of men in a dark suit with a white shoe jacket and white dress pants on. He had long, dark hair and a, and a beard of the same color. It was Michael Cadigan. And that is for chapter 18. I'll see you all in chapter 19. I wanted to chat the 19 of uh, Chidel's story. Reckoning. The data? What, what source is this? Heal from this. Chidel. Anwood? Hello, brother. You're the one who's supposed to tell this power. Someone had to. You just wanted to keep him in the dark. I want to keep him safe. But now, you're supposed to be our ward. And ward was, uh, must be left in the dust for our new world order to drive. Your new world order? I always figured you for the smart one, so did anyone else. But you said a blind of these marines. Can't you see? They're just use you. You're nothing more than a pawn. They won't hesitate to kill you or your entire family to feel it's necessary. What? Well, well, brother, I'd like you to meet the Kyoko Sag. Well, they don't like you very much. doing to me and shit like that Ryder's right arm sat in a mess of blood bone and metal with a cry of agony Ryder sank to his knees he then placed a first hand uh Ryder's temple and at the form of boxing champion screaming pain hit his blood in a red and pink mess Ryder Ryder a friend of comedy fought and bled on his side now laid down on the ground horribly mut mutilated and killed in one of the most excruciating ways imaginable and would face meanwhile with a barrage of pure hatred and rage I'll kill you huh they're getting behind us Come on, 
help him to the camellia. Get away from my son. Everything okay back there? Riley? Riley? Look out. Ah, oh, hell. Riley? Uh, Seal Armid bit his flame. Uh, for Zeneca looked down to see a massive hole in the chest. He suddenly felt himself became very lightheaded and it collapsed to the ground. Dead. Michael slowly staggered back to his, up to his feet. Despite the new massive gash in the chest, he had survived. No. Ryan, no. Not Ryan. Shill, get the kid. Shadell, I need your help. Now get out of here, Shill. Don't worry. Now go. Uncle Anwood, come on. We have to go. I'm sorry, kid. What? No, you can't. I love you, Shadell. I'm sorry I never got to spend more time with you. No. Shadell, Chloe, Ryan, Shill, and Daylan had made it off of the earpiece, but that left so many others behind to do it. We were on the ground. Uh, Michael was barrage uh, seats. He looked pleased with himself and would to drop his shield and collapse to your knees. You're definitely for the good of the good of the world. You can tell yourself that much as you want to. You can say that all you want for your new world order, whoever it is that is pulling your strings. But you and I both know that not you. We both know that deep down you still just a sad little kid a bitter about a loss he suffered in childhood. Yes, I was, but not anymore. I rectified father's mistakes. I put on a bond and right and righted his fault. I will no longer fear you. I have any thoughts filled with your taunts. I have one. Goodbye, brother. And that is for chapter 19. I'll see you on chapter 20. Welcome to chapter 20 of the Dell story. In which landing, Seal spent most of it attending to Ryan's wounds at the boardwood and a coma on a brink of death. She would occasionally pause and watch the rapid tear from her eyes. I'm in uh, chapter 19, part 2. It happened her job to protect her team to attack human life in general, and she had felt all of them, and it seemed like though she was about to fail one more. Uh, Chloe did her best to focus on her piloting, but the death of Riley still weighed heavily on her mind, and she had to shake her head. Head every now and again in a vain attempt to clear away the thoughts of a former combat who had been put to a crisp on a very few quests of a party. They did not say much of anything. He simply uh, stayed focused on her job, which was acting at Cl uh, Chloe's co pilot and checking U.S. military service, so for any useful information. However, one could still uh, tell that he had been sickened by the events that had transpired on the air peaks. Still, meanwhile, just sat in a chair, facing forward, it seemed as though he was in shock. He was obviously distraught at his uncle, Death, and Ryan current um, predicament, but he did not know what to do about it. I thought he could see there was nothing he could do to have a change of what had happened and that weighed heavily on him suddenly a red light started blaring up in the cockpit accompanied by the sound of alarm going up damn it it would appear that we just seen heavy damage during the battle on air peaks yeah no shit should tell fucking dad do fucking fireballs at the back of our damn helicopter yes i remember it was like our food tank would hit we've been leaking food this whole time our food tank would hit in a battle we don't have enough to make it back to washington we're gonna have to do a land sooner than expected where are we landing washington dc we probably want to uh set down a few miles outside the urban area several hours later when they would stretch out the eastern coast of the United States, Chloe engaged the community's stealth mode. She did not want uh, any surprise visit from any F-22s later. Uh, they pass over the capital city itself. It's like signing at night as they pass over the completely undetected. They sat down in an isolated clan in the woods about four miles outside D.C. when they finally landed. They all breathed a huge sigh of relief. Um, once on the ground, she went over to check on Ryan. How's he doing? Not good. I'm running low on supplies. She wants to take a break or break up. Can you uh, heal him with your powers? I can numb the pain and heal the outer wounds. But without better equipment, I can't fix any, any internal energies. And believe me, he had internal energies. So we need more supplies. Now I found some. Uh, do what you can. She will need more medical supply for Ryan. If there's anything uh, near here where I can find anything like this, I'll see what I can find. Right here. It's an old uh, psy uh, psychedelic hospital on Alabama Avenue. Psychedelics? I don't see how that helps. It better than nothing. I swear you're right. The address is 1100 Alabama Avenue, Southeast. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going out to get some medical supply for Ryan. Well, if you're going out, I appreciate it if you got some parts for the camera. It's a pretty bang up. What do you need? I got a list right here. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and one more thing. How are you planning on getting into the city? Uh, walking? Do you have a driver's license? Um, no. What? Well, you are 16. How do you not have a driver's license? I'm from Seattle, all right? I never need a one. Well, good luck walking, I guess. Thanks. What the hell is going on here? Are you are you one of them? One of them? Externals, the damn externals, are you one of them? Hey Connor, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're one of them. I'll kill you. personal it's simply good business to hell get away from them buzz off kid i'll let you live let me tell you you little snot you're not the first kid who brought they were to heal that old johnny bernardo's at the back oh well you lost kid all right nice trick you annoying fuck you a man who doing it for the right price answer me why hurt other external we should be helping each other not mowing each other down i'm not being paid to sit around the goddamn campfire hold hands i've been paid to kill not what i would do
Thank you for your help. My name is Terry. No problem. Just trying to help. I'm just about to stop, by the way. Nice to meet you, Chadel. You too, Terry. Make sure you get these people out of the city. Great. More guests out of the shadows. Do you know him? Not a chance. Seen Cobra Kai before? Nah, I do not know him. That not seem like trouble, though. What is story, boss? Who are you people? Are you with that gang outside? I am currently hiding from that gang at the moment. My name is Emu. Oh, yeah. We already, we already read this. My bad. We already read this. We got this. We need to take the And that's it for that chapter. I'll see you on the next chapter. Bye-bye. Welcome to Jadel Chapter 20. Spread out and find him. No one mess with Johnny Banana. Get his way of it. Oh shit. Oh damn. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Want to satisfy getting beat the first time? No one mess with me and gets away with it. And that includes you. Scared? Let's do this. And that's just for chapter 20, 20, chapter 20. All right, welcome to chapter 21. Should I show you the worst 15 people yet? Yeah, but you already seen all this. Oh, humanity were not ready. No, no, I didn't read all this. Uh, the one watch I turned into humanity were not ready. Managed the other day. Uh, suddenly changed the world. All the people that built up and most of around the world had let loose. A civil war which had not uh, been since 1861. The government has spoiled for city people having peer control. Games being ordered to create as much care as I want. At once, mass genocides on uh, unmodernized land. No one could predict what could happen next. A civilization. At the civilization of a war that they could trust to around them, it was sure or not. The one that they could keep the trust the public who allowed them all to be keep. keep. Hidden with machine gun fire echoed throughout the streets, cell buildings around Washington DC are already collapsed on each other. 200,000 people were already killed by just them as that is. How would Jadel with Kony aware of that fact? A were in a fight of his life. So they warned us in the situation. Warned a black spike here and golden eyes with darkened skin leap into the air. The woman of spirit, spirit. A woman with such martial, martial arts influence and with a background so, uh, surrounding deities. Spirit blew the debris. Who the hell are you? Is that all you got?
the, the final one to take down. I'm not one of the, oh no, so that's how that feels. I'm just getting started. Good hit. Hits. And I thought you were all serious. Alright, now he's trying to piss me off. Wrestling, huh? I've been known to dabble. Me too. I don't think so. Wow, a bit far forward, aren't we? Wait, I mean, okay, that's enough. Do this. Do we need to try some new moves? If you say so. You too. What? Get um. What? What is happening? Let's see if this works. Never give up. This is fun. I can do this. One more class? Let's do it. You, you win. You were never one of those against them. I just want you. No, of course not. I will never let innocent people. I'm glad to hear that. Because I think we got a big problem on our hands. You bastard, thing you saw. You're not weak, pathetic, and need to be. You cheap shots. I'll crush you both into the ground. I see you're lighting you. You appear. What are you talking about? Your potential. I see it. Do you not understand where your powers ever came from? I mean, not exactly. Only the pure light. Because, uh, one who has pure heart and worthy of, uh, to be a guardian could hold your powers. Me, a guardian. Quite the illicit thing to be speaking that at a time like this. At a fellow deity, I can see it. You should never know how to fully unlock it. But I can do this. Nothing, do, uh, nothing more than cleansing you. What is going on? That's not good. I sense it. Is another external class in all this? We have no time to deal with this. I'm Spear. Sit down. It's a, a pleasure to meet you. What's going on? I wish I knew. We need to get back to the others. Others? Yeah, there are a bunch of others here. We are all good. Don't worry. I wonder how strong they are. I will be happy they are. It's just like good you to fight. Let's get back to the others. And that's it for this chapter. I'll see you all next chapter. Chapter 22. Archie down. That one. Oh, yep. Uh, all this, all this stuff we already did before. Go that is chapter um 22. I'll see you on chapter 23. All right, so that chapter 23. Let's go ahead.
and that is chapter 23 and chapter 24 we're not with it because i forgot to add in real chapters but i did um a while ago all right chapter 24 well that seemed way too uneventful i had to go wait what oh come on karate kid could i at least stay longer i guess this is the end of the line for this little team up rose right can't let our boy hanging that's weird what's happening we will be making an accident well oh yeah i almost forgot if you all need some of that is look free working in my car excuse me but have you seen an overly talkative guy in a suit uh, why right here? Makes a lot of references. Yeah, that's him. Head in that direction, you see a towel. You'll find him there if you're fast enough. Uh, there's the wood of people out there. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Look, look, oh my, Liam. I really don't have time for this. How about we do this another time? You like that, wouldn't you? Why even bother? Why? Whatever do do you? I recognize that fancy glow as yours. I've seen the powers. Uh, what are you gonna do when the hand of someone truly revival? I'm not my father. I have no ill attention towards you. That's too bad. We got to a hell of have ill will towards you. Oh, you thought you'd get to be with. With that again, no, 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 my boy. I'm afraid we're going to ease on you for testing you. Now, time to take off the gloves. Ill, 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 fixing it. Ill, sit down, sit down, sit down. Boom. Oh, let's go. this again Not bad, cat again. You almost like good. You, you old man. I told you I'm not my father. Who are you trying to convince? I gotta get back. Hey, Sidel. Sidel, you finally back. Hey, Chloe. Did you get the parts asked for? Yeah, I got the medical supplies too. It's about time. Good to see you too, chill. I go to see you too. Hey you guys, about the blast, you should be asking her. I put up a baby around the camera long enough for everyone to get back inside, but I couldn't hold off for forever. I still made back inside, but let's say I've been in better condition. Okay, well, um, medically, I'll live. <coughs> How's he doing? Not great. We have to go off right now. Yeah, take these. Is there anything I can do? Do you have any medical training? Um, no, but no. Ashley, you are his best friend, right? We do have some painkillers, but he would still be constantly one of repairing his internal damage. Being here for be a lot, a lot of pain. I want you to try and help him however you can. Dr. Fritz to save Ryan Briggs' life, we're about to begin. And that is, and you know, chapter two, um, finale, Chadel finale. I'll see you all next time.